The pre-talk or introduction or education about hypnosis is a really important part of your work with a client. So why is it important? So many different elements come into a pre-talk. It gives you a fantastic opportunity to have a two-way discussion. And this discussion will cover things like dispelling the myths. And as I'm sure you've seen on other videos and in your research and also looking at our blogs on the website, there are an awful lot of myths about hypnosis and hypnotherapy. Having an opportunity to refocus the client on what hypnosis actually is, is really beneficial moving forward so that they have realistic expectations about what their hypnosis session is going to be like. If the client thinks that they're going to black out and they don't, which is highly unlikely, of course, then it could mess up your, all the wonderful work that you've done. If the client thinks that they won't be able to move and they sit there rigid because they're scared to itch their nose, then that again could adversely affect your work. So dispelling those myths and educating the client about what hypnosis really is, is essential. But it goes a little bit further than that. Rather than giving them just a, a clinical definition about what hypnosis is, it can be good to give real world practical examples. And this helps the client understand how they're going to collaborate with you during the hypnosis session to help them achieve what they want to achieve. A wonderful example is that of the client being the driver in a car and you, the hypnotist, you're the map reader. You're an expert map reader and you know the best route and where they're going, but the client always has the choice as to whether they listen to you or perhaps take a different turning. This process, it being a two-way discussion, starts to build rapport. The client feels that they're an integral part to the process. They're going to feel that they're listened to. And this really does help moving forward so that the client will work with you rather than expect you to work on them. Now, an interesting thing may arise during this pre-talk or this introduction to hypnosis is that the client may display some signs of resistance or reluctance to go into hypnosis. This is commonly where there's a deep-seated belief about hypnosis or a myth. They might be concerned that you're going to read their deep and dark secrets, things that they wouldn't want to share with you. They might be concerned that they're going to feel odd after the session or not fit to carry on their everyday life. There's a lot of myths about how people will be out of hypnosis. But this gives you an opportunity to address those. Part of the process as well is that you can use this as a valuable opportunity to reframe and pre-frame. Let me explain that in a little bit more detail. It might be that you start to reframe their pain to discomfort, helping them get a different perspective on how they can interpret their experience. And you can also pre-frame. So when you're feeling more confident at the end of this session, is setting them up to believe that they're going to feel more confident at the end of the session. These are valuable tools and you can interweave them into your pre-talk. Remember, above everything else, this isn't a lecture. This is an opportunity to transition the client from the intake and form and the consultation process into the collaborative work of the hypnotherapy session. So having a two-way discussion rather than you telling them really does help them fully engage and get the best out of their session with you. If you'd like to learn more about how to deliver an effective pre-talk, feel free to check out our website, hypnotc.com, for more information, for training and other resources. Thank you for watching.